silly me, I'm going to try to do this while I'm driving. <laughs> Hope I don't end up recording an accident. Well, I've been a little concerned about this aspartame issue. Okay, so I've decided to not consume aspartame anymore or to give it to my child. As you can see, I like to chew gum when I'm in the car. For the past four or five years, I think, I've been chewing gum that uses aspartame to sweeten it. Well, it kind of pisses me off because I didn't know how bad this chemical was and the uh, reasons why I might want to stop consuming it. So, well, the best I can do is stop consuming it, right? So I go out and I buy some non-sugar-free gum. <laughs> Foolish man. I don't bother to look at the list of ingredients. Um, I'll show you in a minute the gum pack that I'm speaking, I'm about to tell you about because uh, right now I'm driving and I want to use one of my hands. Well, uh, I looked at the list of ingredients on this pack of gum and indeed it contains sugar, corn syrup, and aspartame. So I called Wrigley's, the 800 number right on the package, and I said, well, what's the story here? You know, I don't want to consume aspartame because I am under the impression that it's probably not a good thing for me to do. So what do you have to offer? They gave me one product that they carry in their entire line that does not have aspartame. You know, I'm not even going to tell you what that is because, you know, while I like to chew gum, I'm just going to stop because every single pack of gum I see on the shelf contains aspartame, whether it's sugar-free or not, except for what I've found so far is this one type of gum. And it's, the thing is, is there's four different flavors of this type of gum and only one flavor doesn't have aspartame. The other three do. Unbelievable. One of the things I've learned about aspartame is that it is an unstable chemical and it changes into something else at a fairly low temperature. From what I understand that temperature is 80 degrees. Well, like I said, I only chew gum when I drive. My car, even in the winter time, will reach temperatures above 80 degrees. So the first thing I did when I got in my car was take this food thermometer, which I carry with me because I work in the food and beverage industry, and stuck it in my pack of gum. It's been in this pack of gum now for 15 minutes, okay? And uh, that is plenty of time for the thermometer to get to the a settled temperature of what it is measuring. Also, you should know, I calibrate this, temp this thermometer uh, two or three times a week so that it's accurate because it's important for me to know that the chicken is done in my kitchen. <laughs> Fairly important thing. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'll hold it up. that it is registering is 100 degrees. It is only 83 degrees outside, but because my car has been closed off all day long, and the temperature within the car reached 100 or above. So this gum has been sitting at 100 degrees for a long time, and it will sit at 100 degrees for the rest of the day. Now, aspartame turns to formaldehyde at 80 degrees. And that's something I mentioned to Wrigley's when I uh, called them, that uh, most people, many people, probably a good percentage of their customers consume gum in their car and leave gum in their car. Their car is so frequently over the temperature of 80 degrees that I think this raises a concern. I remember sticking a piece of gum in my mouth one day and it tasted absolutely horrible. I had no idea why at that time. So I, I just threw the pack away and bought a new pack of the same gum with loads and loads of aspartame in it. They tell me that you have to chew two full packs of gum to consume the same amount of aspartame that a can of Diet Coke has in it. What kind of an excuse is that? It's a freaking poison and 
it changes to something else at a very low temperature. What kind of an excuse is that? Okay, so I'm, now I'm consuming very small quantities of formaldehyde. Good Lord Almighty. Anyway, I gotta go pulling into the garage at work. I love you guys. Bye. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, you guys, but I did a another video that I haven't put on YouTube yet because I can't clean up the sound. It looks like I'm going to need to get a real camera. The, what I'm using here is a uh, uh, just a digital photo camera that has the capacity to to do short clips of video. Very disappointed. Anybody out there willing to make a donation? But anyway, let's get on with this. This is the, the pack of gum that uh, that I had taken the temperature of. That I used my thermometer to measure the temperature. Uh, here's your list of ingredients. I know you can't see it. I'm going to try to take a picture of it, uh, a macro picture of it with the camera here that I'm using to do this video. And uh, give you the list of ingredients. It's not a sugar-free gum. I found this gum uh, that does not have aspartame in it, but it has another chemical in it. <laughs> of course, I don't have my glasses. So I can't read the chemicals. Uh, uh, I'll put a, the word somewhere here on the video. Uh, it is also, I don't know much about this chemical, but it's not something you want to consume either. Again, it's sugar, corn syrup, and a chemical that is an artificial sweetener that, uh, that is not something that should be put in our foods. Uh, you know, I'm not a health nut. I mean, I smoke cigarettes. I drink beer. It's not that I, I'm all that concerned about what I choose to put in my body, but that's the key. It's what I choose to do. I choose to smoke cigarettes, and I choose to drink beer. But I never made the choice to consume aspartame. And what I have found out about aspartame, <laughs> after consuming bunches of it, is that I would have never chosen to consume it. It has an effect on the uh, neural activity of your brain. It causes brain cancer. It's, a, it's attack. It attacks the brain. Hey, you guys want to meet my dog? Come here, Bubba. Come here. He's my dog. I don't know if you can see him here. Let me get this off to the side. That's my dog, Bobo. Hey. Hey, Bobo. Hey, buddy. He's a big dog. He's about 100 pounds. He's my buddy. He's a good dog. He's got an ear infection. That's why he's acting like that. He's a good dog, though. Anyway. <coughs> so, I'll put the list of ingredients of the gum that uh, contains the aspartame that doesn't have, that isn't sugar free and what I found to replace it that I actually bought and have consumed some uh, because it doesn't have aspartame but has that other chemical and I'll put a, do you want some gumbo? <laughs> and it has that chemical in it that, uh, that you all shouldn't be consuming either. Um, I also found a, a list at a website of what items that are put in food that are unacceptable. I'll put a link to that too. I think it's really pretty cool. Um, uh, I'll put that over in the box. But anyway, I hope that I get a decent sound quality on this video and I'll remake the video I spent 20 minutes making with horrible, horrible sound quality and get back to talking about my thoughts on this beast thing because uh, it's an issue that I, I want to do at least one more video on. Again, I love everyone who's watching this video. Peace.